Madhur Bhandarkar, thanks for joining us on the buck stops here. Is it true that the censor board has asked for words like RSS, Intelligence Bureau, Prime Minister, Akali, Communist uh, to be removed from your film? Yeah, absolutely. And I don't know in what yardstick, what parameters uh, they choose to say such things. I mean, to say the uh, people who saw the film. And I was really, really taken aback with such words which have been spoken every day on channels and news media everywhere. Uh, I don't know, they want me to cut Kishore Kumar, in fact. Uh, the word Kishore Kumar, they want me to remove it. Uh, PM, uh, RSS, Communist, Akalis. All these words, they want me to remove it. And I was really, really appalled with the kind of suggestion. And the thing was, uh, the trailer, which has the dialogues which been passed, they told me to remove all the lines which is in the film. The same trailer, I mean the same line. Because trailer is the part of the film. And uh, it has. they want me to remove all these things. And um, Jay Prakash Zindabad, uh, Jay Prakash picture they want me to remove. Jay Prakash Zindabad, they want me to remove the poster also, uh, where the, 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 there's a flyer over there. And, uh, and in the beginning, I had put this thing, okay, uh, this, this movie uh, is dedicated to Aung San Hero, who fought during emergency of 1975 and who restored democracy. They want to remove that disclaimer also from the film. I, I really don't know. Okay. Now, why have you asked them why there is so much sensitivity to these words? Why should references to either the CBI or the RSS or Akali be a problem? No, what's change kar do? Now, I told him, ke, please tell me what do I say Kishore Kumar? He said, say Kishore. Don't say Kishore Kumar. It was very absurd. I laughed over there. I didn't, I mean to say, like, how can I remove words like in the film with Akali? See, see, there are people who fought during this emergency, Akali, communist, RSS. So I'm just mentioning there's a dialogue over there. So I don't know why they want me to remove all these things. CBI, IB, uh, PM, uh, they want me to remove. Jay Prakash, I don't understand. Jay Prakash Zindabad. What's the harm about it? Jay Prakash Zindabad? I mean, Jay Prakash was a hero of emergency. But you know? Okay, we take your point, but clearly you're fighting on multiple fronts. Uh, the Central Board of Film Certification obviously has problems. Congress leaders and party workers have also been very, very critical. See, I'm fighting in both fronts, three fronts. There's so many people have agitated and said something. Uh, somebody, who, uh, lady had uh, 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 sent a legal notice to her. She says she's Sanjay Gandhi's daughter. And she's also says ke she wants to see the film. So I don't know how many fronts I'm fighting. But right now my priority, I think people who are protesting burning refugees and, uh, 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 you know, blacken, they want to blacken my face. They should see the film in totality. You know what? I don't understand. People have no problem when people writing books, they, they don't agitate over there. People writing, uh, people write, making documentaries, they don't agitate over there. When somebody is making a film, which I'm telling you, it is 30% reality, 70% is fiction. And it is not an individual, it is not a biopic, it is not a docudrama, it is, it is a fiction and fact, and fact what? It was which is in there in the public domain. I am not making a movie on a banned book or something. So people should see in the larger perspective, but just having a knee-jerk reaction by watching a three-minute trailer, they should not do that. So okay. I am fighting all the fronts. All right, you're fighting on, on, on many fronts. You're saying this is not a biopic, but it is obviously closely modeled on actual historical characters. They are clearly identifiable. How do you respond to criticism, um, particularly from uh, the Congress party, that this is a propaganda film? How can be the propaganda film? Tell me one thing. First also, I said, now I'm just telling you, if it would be a propaganda film, I would have released the film in 2019 before the election. I would have released the movie three months before, just three months back when the five state election was going on. I am releasing a film where there is no election going to hell another six, seven months. So I am releasing with a big film. Why I'm fighting so much every day over here? It is absolutely nothing like that. It is a pure film. I am being known to make cinema which is real, hard hitting. I am not some fly by night filmmaker who has just popped out from somewhere and making a film. I have a trail of cinema which I have been topical, which I have been rubbing shoulders in the wrong way earlier also with my films. So people should look into holistic manner. People look, should look in the largest, larger, larger perspective. But clearly that's not happening.
That's clearly not happening. Mumbai Congress President Sanjay Nirupam wrote to the censor board chief Jyotiraditya Sindhya has said, I know the kind of films Madhur Bhandarkar makes. What do you think he meant by that? How do you feel about I, that? See, his, it is his point of view. To be very honest, as an individual, I have tremendous respect for Jyotiraditya Sindhya. I think he's one of the best orators. He speaks very well. And I'm an admirer of his work. I mean, this is the way he, is, he conducts himself. So I feel it's just a knee-jerk reaction. I should not make... Prove it now if I, I am that kind of thing. See, I have a, as an individual admirer in every party I like. I like somebody in Congress, I may like somebody in the other parties or BJP, anybody. And I never heard about it because my film was watched by all parties. It's not one party but, watching my but movie. But Mr. Pandarkar, the charge seems to be that you are in the garb of creating fiction or having 70% fiction mixed with 30% fact. You are actually indulging in character assassination. You know what? You know, that, that would be the thing, na? I would have made a then 100% biopic. I would have made a film completely docudrama on emergency. Why would I make a film which I'm saying 30% is fiction, I mean to say uh, real and 70% about it. Then it would be the other way around, na? Then it would be 70% real and the same agitation would have taken place if it would be a propaganda film. I never dictate, put, get a diktat from any political party, neither I take it. I make film the way I believe in is my conviction of cinema, it is. And then I would have made that way, another film. I would not, I have said emergency is a backdrop. People have made film of Hollywood in different, different Holocaust movie. People have made on civil rights in US. I don't know why people over here, if you're making a film, people think it that way. You, you do you question uh, any author, ki you're writing a book, show me the book first. Do you question a documentary filmmaker, show me. Doordarshan has made a documentary of five parts on truth of emergency. So you remove that, all this thing from the YouTube. You can remove that thing from the YouTube. Why are you questioning me as a filmmaker? And another thing I would like to tell you, another thing I would like to tell you, another thing I would tell you, censors, before submitting censor, I was being, I was in duress. I was basically almost like a threatening by change names and all. That also I've done it. I'm telling you that on your front of uh, your camera. I put, up, I put a disclaimer, this characters are okay. fiction. It is when living or dead, nothing to be done about it. I put this disclaimer also. So people should put stop to it and just finish it. Because I am a filmmaker, I am a creative filmmaker. People should not run po politics with it. Okay, so you're saying you've made changes, you've tried to sort of uh, uh, assuage people who's, who've been offended, all of those disclaimers are in place. But let me ask you this, um, there are also those who are suggesting that the makers of the Manmohan Singh biopic were asked to get a no objection certificate, makers of the Kejriwal biopic were asked to do the same. So why not Madhur Bhandarkar? Well, I'll tell you, absolutely. First thing, you should ask the center chief. Second, in my trailer, you mention one name which I mentioned somebody's name. They said the line is Desh mein Gandhi ki maine badal chukke hai. For that, you have to see the film which Gandhi I'm talking about. This is a line. Otherwise, I've not taken any name, any individual name, not any, any word, but one name also taken. And another thing would be, if, if it would be that way, then today he would have not given me 16 to 17 cuts, na? Why would the chairman is giving me 16 to 70 cuts which I am so appalled okay. and I am so agitated about it. 16 to 70 cuts with the words and all. It is nothing like that. Nah? You are saying this is an assault then on your freedom of expression. How are you going to fight this and uh, will Indo Sarkar actually manage to release as scheduled? See, I will use all the remedies which are available to me as a filmmaker. I will go to the revising committee, not then I welcome to tribunal. If not tribunal, I will go to high court. I positively keep my finger crossed and I am sure the people of India will watch Hindu Sarkar on 28th July. All right, Madhur Bhandarkar, thank you very much for speaking with us.